Hey y'all, PD here from the Myrtle Beach Bible Bank. What a nice day out. Hmm, nice December day. Hey, I just wanted to drop in and, and stand with you in, in the confidence of the goodness of God over your life. Let's decree and declare today what God is saying to my heart for all those hearing this right now or anytime really in the future that this video is accessed and, and listened to by anyone anywhere across the entire globe, not just our missionary and our, and our church partners of the Bible Bank, but no, we say that this is for whomsoever, right? I mean, that is God's desire, the whomsoever's, right? So, so why shouldn't it be our desire as, as we're made in God's image and we're called to be co-heirs with him as well as imitators of him, right? So this is for all the whomsoever's that listen to this ever for the rest of humanity's time here on earth <laughs> and or uh, the existence of YouTube uh, or, or the internet and, and, and who are willing to receive it. That's the most important thing, okay? Oh, what a day it is to, to declare all the promises of the Lord God over our families and our friends and others that, that we are so dearly speaking out in love for. Therefore, right now, let each of us take a stand in Holy Spirit agreement in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, we come before you seeking your grace upon our life. We decree and declare that we have an open heaven over everything that you've placed in our hands. And we decree and we declare our families are healthy in Jesus' name. There's nothing which can harm us as long as we're walking daily in obedience to your divinely given word. And we speak to the enemies who've tried to stop your divine purpose in our life from going forth. And we say that, that when you made mankind, you gave him authority over all things which pertain to this present life and the spear of it. Okay, And we declare and we decree and we proclaim that we're taking back everything the enemy has stolen. Jesus purchased it all back at Calvary. We just need to receive it, right? We decree and we declare and we say victory. We speak victory in place of failure. Our businesses are successful. Our homes are happy. There are places that, that we dwell in and we learn in as a developing family unit. We thank you, Lord God, for everything that you've done in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. And we boldly, we boldly come today to decree and declare that we serve an awesome and mighty and powerful God who cares for his body, the church. And we further decree and declare the healing of those uh, who are on their sick beds. Lord God, touch them and heal them and, and deliver them in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, we, we proclaim that, that we're a generation who are walking in total obedience with your declared mandates. Oh Lord, Lord God, we also decree and declare that your ever-present spirit is abiding with each of your called out children in this hour. Our homes, they're under the protection of your divine hands and of and, uh, the mercy that is in your heart. Father God, we decree and declare that your hands are upon this nation right now in Jesus' name and, and you're bringing revival to the land. Thank you, God, for hearing our prayers today. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, in Jesus' name, it's which we pray, amen. Hey, listen up, y'all. The Lord God is very much aware of those who, uh, who, are, who are his children, as well as those who are not his children, right? So, in the pages of the Word of God, we find written these words. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children, as it says in Romans 8, 16. And we are the children of God, for the Word of God declares it to be so. In other words, it is not the children by physical descent who are God's children, but it is the children of the promise who are regarded as Abraham's offspring, as it says in Romans 9, 8, okay? This is why we each, yes, you, you too, you, 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 right? Not just me, we are all 
in that family of God through Christ Jesus. And we can daily decree and declare our supernatural position in Christ Jesus, right? Because we are exactly, we are exactly that, a part of the household of our Father God. Remember, God's voice on the matter, y'all. That's the only thing that matters. And now, dear children, continue in Him so that when, when He appears, we may be confident and unashamed before Him at His coming, as it says in uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 28, okay? And also, this is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child nor is anyone who does not love their brother or their sister, as it says in uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 10. My friends, today, allow the Spirit of God to truly impact your personal family and your work life. By doing so, you're going to be living life here within the present dark spear of life as a bright burning light of hope. Hallelujah. Ensure that you're not just making up excuses to live a, a, a lifestyle of unholy disobedience. After all, the Lord God has placed deep down within you everything you needed to be a powerful witness for his divine kingdom. Hallelujah. When you and I receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior, there was a supernatural change which took place at the time of our new birth. Hallelujah. We became the children of God, praise Jesus. Yes, the Godhead came to live and abide in us as his place of residence. Okay, that's why we're instructed to be aware of what we allow in our life as children of the Lord God. His word, y'all, it exhorts us in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, actually, verse 19 to 20. It says, do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. Who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. And Hebrews 2 Verse 14 says, We who call ourselves the children of God should surely live in accordance with what the Word of God uh, says. And if we do not, we're not truly the children of God. Remember, the following thing that I have to say, okay, concerning the children of the devil. And this is what God's Word says. Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity, so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds the power of death. That is the devil, okay? And lastly, uh, chapter one uh, of First John chapter three, verse 10 also says, this is how we know uh, the children of God and who are the children of the devil. And I mentioned this before, okay? Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child. I'm gonna repeat this because it bears importance. For anyone who does not love their brother and sister is also not a child of God, okay? My dear brothers, my Sisters, let us each of us ensure that we are truly walking in accordance with the divinely given word of God. For we cannot fool the God of creation, okay? He knows all things. He knows all things concerning each of us, okay? And each of us truly called out children, as well as those who are not his children. God bless. Hey, y'all. Jesus loves you. So did Kelly and I, okay? We love you to the moon and back. Take care of yourselves and others. Peace out.